Almost all precipitation that takes place on our planet happens due to clouds. They carry the weather and link different global climatic systems. But most of all, they allow life to sustain on the planet. Yet the study of clouds on ethology is one of the least understood branches of meteorology. Extreme rainfall events and droughts have become more common because of global warming. Flash floods brought on by intense precipitation are creating havoc around the globe. In India alone, over the last decade, there have been five extreme rainfall events leading to about 12,000 deaths, the worst being in Uttarakhand in 2013, which killed 6,000 people. Most weather and remote sensing models have very little to offer as explanation to these extreme rainfall events. Scientists now believe that clouds could hold the answer to this vexed problem. More specifically, the way clouds react with a group of microscopic, organic and inorganic particles called aerosols. These could be natural, such as dust, volcanic ash and vapors emitted by plants, or human-made, such as agricultural dust, vehicular exhaust and emissions from mines and soot from thermal power plants. Aerosols are constantly released into the atmosphere. They are responsible for cloud formation. These particles become the site or the nuclei around which water vapor condenses to form small droplets. In pristine environments, natural aerosols like sulfates, sea salt or ammonium salts form the natural nuclei. But in areas with high pollution, clouds with smaller but higher number of droplets are formed. In such situations, there could be two outcomes, no rain or a catastrophic downpour. Water droplets and clouds need to reach a critical size and mass in order for them to fall as rain. But because of the smaller size of droplets in areas with high levels of aerosols from pollution, they may not become sufficiently big, thereby leading to no rain. Therefore, polluted air or air laden with high levels of aerosols can lead to suppressed rain. A study done over 10 years by NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies and University of Virginia published in 2008 showed that high dust levels over Sahelian region of North and Central Africa were leading to low rainfall. However, recent studies have shown that high aerosols can also lead to catastrophic rainfall especially with convective cloud systems or clouds formed through evaporation and condensation. A scientific paper published by the University of Texas in June 2016 found that high levels of aerosols could lead to delaying rainfall and in the process make clouds larger and live longer till they shed their water through very violent storms. The researchers using stationary geospatial satellites studied 2,430 convective cloud systems and found that high aerosol concentration can increase the life of these cloud systems by up to 24 hours, bringing down torrents of water when they open up. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in its fifth assessment report says that precipitation and evaporation are going to increase as the planet warms up. But new research detailing the interaction of aerosols with clouds has only made weather forecasting more complicated. It is now clear that clouds are indeed carriers of the weather, to be precise, extreme weather. <laughs>